Hello, Calgary Catholic. Brian Zumlis, your Chief Superintendent here. This week is a special week. On Wednesday, September the 30th, we all come together in the spirit of reconciliation to remember the great tragedy of residential schools. We wear orange shirts. With me today, I have two special guests that I'd like to introduce to you right now, and they're going to introduce other special guests that are also joining us. So I have Cynthia Lanier, and she is our new supervisor responsible for many teams. And one of the teams she works closely with is our First Nation, Métis and Inuit team. Also joining us this, af this afternoon, we have Jennifer Wu and Jennifer is our Director of Learning Services. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to Cynthia. I'm Cynthia, as Brian mentioned. I am the leader of the Indigenous team. I'm so honored to have um, many of them working alongside with me. So I'm going to introduce to you today, first of all, Trish and Angela. They are our consultants and they work with the district schools and teachers and principals to ensure that we are um, helping all Indigenous programs and bringing to life the program. We have Ashley, who is a, a district teacher who supports directly teachers and students with projects within the classroom. We are also grateful that we have a family support worker, Tristan and Deb, a liaison with the families. They all, both of them work very closely with the students and the families and the nation. So we are grateful to have all of these members of our team. We are small, but mighty. I feel truly honored and privileged to be able to work alongside and support our indigenous team in our district. At this time, I would like to introduce Wanda First Rider, who is our elder. Wanda's going to share a few words today about On Shirt Day and its meaning. Greetings, my name in Blackfoot is Little Woman. I come from Gaina, one of the four tribes of the Blackfoot Confederacy. I acknowledge and greet each of you. Last year in 2019, I met and visited with Phyllis Webstead, founder of Orange Shirt Day, which was officially launched on September 30th, 2013. It was an honor and important for me to meet Phyllis as Orange Shirt Day focuses focuses on the experiences we had at residential school. As my colleagues in my district, many of you know I am a residential school survivor. Three generations of my family. <laughs> my grandparents, myself, my parents, my two brothers, my two sisters, experienced residential school, while our youngest sister attended school. This group of survivors are currently going through a class action lawsuit. I have endured many sad, lonely, confusing, and frustrating days throughout my lifetime due to my experiences in residential school. The emotional and physical effects of residential school continue to haunt me on a daily basis. Each step taken as I strive to make a positive, fulfilling life for myself, my husband, our two sons, our daughter, and now our grandchildren come with challenges that stem back to my experiences at residential school. One of them being the forced removal of my mother tongue the Blackfoot language, an integral part of who I am. We were forbidden to speak Blackfoot. We were beaten, tormented, and humiliated for speaking Blackfoot, living in fear and not having the opportunity to th thrive in our new environment is an overwhelming experience. The effects of losing our language resulted in me not having a full understanding of who I was as a young Blackfoot person. We know that speaking an Indigenous language supports the growth and understanding of our traditions, our family lineage, and our ceremonies, which is crucial for our development. Losing my language prevented my ability to blossom, to strengthen, 
and understand this new institution that I was forced to live in. Our sixty-eight tapil sin, our way of life, was ripped out of us. Our way of life was viewed as inferior. We were told we were stupid, we were heathens. Many of us were emotionally, physically, and sexually abused in the residential school, both here in Canada and to our relatives in the United States. Orange Shirt Day has given us, the survivors, an opportunity to be seen and to have our voices heard so that these experiences never happen again. To recognize and increase the importance of being able to speak our First Nations, Métis, and Inuit languages, and to be reminded that, yes, every child does matter. Again. Wanda, on behalf of everyone in Calgary Catholic, I want to say a heartfelt thank you for sharing your story. It's by knowing the story that we can all pause, come together, stand united to make a change in the world. And you are a model for all of us. Our deepest sorries are with you. We pray for you, your family, as we go forward. And we are so lucky to have you as our elder here in Calgary Catholic. God bless you. Take care.